guys, welcome to part three of episode 30. We're back with the Lothario family, and we're just going to pick up where we left off with them last time in part two. Well, apparently Primo did not do his homework yesterday because I just got a pop-up that he was doing poorly in school, and now he has a D. He brought a little friend home from school named Marcus Potter, but he's very upset about his school grade. Um, he still desperately needs fun. Oh, it looks like he's playing with his friend. Oh, I thought he was going to play tag with his friend, but he's not. Um, let's play some cops and robbers, and then he's definitely going to do his homework. And my homework mod is not working. He just put his homework down on the ground, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, it says he isn't doing so well at school. Skipping school or not doing homework equals falling grades and a visit from the social worker. That's very bad. We're going to have to make sure he does this homework today. I'm not putting it back on his desk because I don't know what happened to his other homework that was in there on his desk. I'm going to put it in his room. And as soon as his fun fills up, he's going to ask Cassandra to help him. It is 6 p.m. and on Friday... And everybody's aged up again. Cassandra is now 51. Dawn is 50. Eva is 14. Primo is 8. And little Rosa is 3. And in two more days, Rosa will age up to a child. So actually, she's going to age up to a child during this round on Sunday at 6 p.m. So we'll get to see her all in one round age up from baby to toddler to child and that's because of the one day pregnancy mod which I really kind of like it keeps things moving along and it makes more sense I don't know what we're gonna do about Cassandra wanting to have another baby I mean she is 51 years old I don't want to deny her but I think it's highly unlikely a 51 year old would have a baby um, so I'm still thinking about that. I'm not going to unlock that one yet. We'll see what happens in the future. And we got a chance card for Don again while he was at work today. Um, a member of the Below Average Bowlers League has come in with a sprained thumb and is demanding immediate attention. There are a number of free clinic patients waiting to be seen, but Don's also heard that the b babble is a powerful political force in Sim City. He could see the woman immediately or make the point of informing her that other c citizens are just as important as she is and that she'll need to wait her turn. Oh, what would Don do? I think Don would be annoyed that somebody was demanding that he treat them, so he's going to make a point. Yes! <laughs> he's gotten Don out of his contract with the hospital and secured him as a position secured him a position at a neighborhood clinic as a general practitioner. Woohoo! He lost his job with a chance card and he got his job back with a chance card. Awesome, and he got those great hours back. So he's re-promoted to general practitioner. It is Saturday afternoon, and Eva still wants to have her first kiss and go out on a date. She also wants to buy a handheld game. She's asking Dawn if she can take the car and go out. Let's see what he says. Can I please have the car to go out, Dad? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so she's going to take the car and go out. And I think she will go to Interactive since she wants to buy a handheld game. All right, Eva has arrived. She's going to go in, first of all, and buy the... Oh, she no longer wants to buy a handheld game, so never mind. Now she just wants to slow dance, ask a sim on a date, and have her very first kiss. So, let's see who is available. Um, I don't see any teen boys. Here is Meadow Thayer, wearing a much cuter outfit, if I do say so myself. Jennifer Burb is here. And wow, her outfit doesn't match anymore now that I replaced her skirt. <laughs> The skirt is cute, but her shirt looks horrible with it, so we might have to fix her when we get back to her. Anyway, back to Eva. She's going to be greeted by some other sims, but there are really no teen boys here. Oh wait, I lied. Alvin Fuda is a teen boy. 
Let's have her go greet him. Oh, he's throwing water balloons at Dirk. Oh, wow. Here's another one of my default replacement skirts, but this shirt looks really bad with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll take a look at those skirts. Oh, he thinks she's hot. Let's see. They don't really have that much attraction at all. She doesn't really care for him and he doesn't care for her. So that's a no-go. Um, she's getting kind of hungry. Maybe she'll drive downtown and get something to eat. Hey, Alvin's going to insult her. Oh, look, he's making her cry. Alvin, you jerk. She's leaving this place. She's out of here. Eva decided to go down to the 125 cafe and get something to eat. She's feeling kind of hungry. And John Burb is here. She's going to grab a bite and see if anybody shows up that she might want to meet. She ordered a big piece of cake. <laughs> and I see a teen boy here, Orlando. Let's check out their... So. Chemistry. Oh, look, there's Brandy. Nope, they do not have good chemistry either. It's going to be hard for her to meet someone until some of the boys in her generation age up. Well, poor Eva struck out again. There's nobody here uh, that she would want to talk to, so she's going to try another lot before she goes home. It's getting kind of late. She's going to have to go home soon. Uh, but we'll try one more lot. Alright, Eva is at the bowling alley. Um, and let's see who she might meet here. First thing she wants to do is go look at the window. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's Glenn, Fo oh, Glenn Foster aged up to an adult. So, never mind. Looks like Eva met a townie, a uh, teenage girl named Marie Burke. So they're hanging out, having fun. Um, she hasn't met any boys, though. Eva decided to go to Rodney's hangout. I'm not sure if this is an appropriate place for a teen girl to go, but that's where she went. And I just realized I forgot to give her... And I can't do it on the lot. I forgot to give her her aspiration benefits, like, to make her more attractive and stuff. So that sucks. Um, uh, Mary Sue Pleasant is here. <laughs> I thought this was Mary Sue Pleasant. This is Margie, who was a doormy, and she looks just like Mary Sue. There's Rosemary. Um... Poor Eva's just not having any luck meeting any interesting teen boys. And I don't know if she's going to. Oh, wow. She didn't seem to get along with Mary Sue very well. Alright. Eva met Dustin Broke, but he's obviously not going to work out for her. So she's going to go home. Uh, she's really tired. She needs a shower. She's hungry. And she hasn't met anybody um, that she's been attracted to, or that has been attracted to her, so she struck out tonight, unfortunately. Well, it's Saturday at 6 p.m. Everybody's aged up again, so Cassandra is 52, Dawn is 51, Primo is, I'm sorry, Eva is 15, Primo is 9, and Little Rosa is 4. So tomorrow, Rosa will age up to a child. Eva has a few days, it says. Um, she has three days, but she won't age up and go to college until the next round. Unfortunately, she's just not going to be able to find anybody this round to have her first kiss with. That's so sad. Uh, but maybe as we play some of the other boys in her generation and they age up to teenagers, we can make that happen for her, just not while we're playing her household. Don still hasn't realized his dream to public woohoo with three different sims, but we could definitely make that happen for him next round. Cassandra is teaching Rosa how to talk, and there she goes. She learned how to talk. 
Um, she's probably going to be potty trained right now if we can make it in time. Hurry up, Cassandra. Alright, get her on the potty. Get her on the potty right now. She wants to learn how to walk, but I we can try. We should be able to teach her tomorrow because Cassandra doesn't work on Sundays. So she can spend all day working with her. But let's see, is she going to make the potty? Oh my gosh, she's like one tick away. But we'll definitely get there before she ages up. So she should be able to learn all of her toddler skills just like Primo did. Alright, Cassandra needs a lot of help with her needs. She's going to feed the baby, put her to bed, and then we're just going to take care of everybody's needs until tomorrow. Oh, okay, so it's 2.45 in the morning. Cassandra got up because... Rosa had to use the potty. She put her on the potty for like one second and now she is potty trained. So two out of three toddler skills are learned. Um, now she needs a bath and some food and Cassandra will take care of some of her needs and then we'll start teaching her how to uh, walk. It's Sunday morning and Eva is hanging out with Primo in his room. It is so cute. She actually went in and tried to give him a hug and he was like, no, he hated it. But he totally doesn't mind hanging out with his older sister and that's so sweet of Eva. In the meantime, Cassandra is teaching uh, little Rosa how to walk and they're getting there slowly. Nobody has a high enough mood to make smart milk, so they're just going to have to do, the, do it the long way. Don is out in the shed playing drums. <laughs> he is really good at the drums now. Look at that six pack he's got. And he never works out, even though his hobby is fitness. Wow, he's got some sweet moves with those drumsticks. Look at that. Oh, let's see, what does he want to, oh, he still wants to buy a ballet bar, so I guess we can buy one and put it out here in the shed. He is getting down. Alright, let's buy a ballet bar, maybe he'll work out some on that. You think he'd want to buy, like, a treadmill or something, but no, ballet bar, like a weight machine. No, he just wants a ballet bar. He wants to be friends with Denise. Is that Denise Jacquet he's talking about? Yeah. <laughs> wow, he has two bolts with her. Well, he might be seducing old Denise. We'll see how that works out for him. Let's see how they're doing up here with learning how to walk. Um, they're about halfway there. And she's got plenty of time until she, until Rosa ages up. Cassandra still wants to have a baby, because obviously because I locked it, and she fears having a baby at the same time. So I think I'm going to, I don't know if I want to unlock it or let her try again for one more baby. I just don't know. If we look at her stats with the uh, ACR adjuster... She only has a 5% chance that she would try for a baby on her own. Um, Don, ha he had a little bit of a higher chance. He's got, oops. He's got an 8% chance that he would try for a baby. Look, he has the hots for Nina Caliente. Wow. I'm just really torn. Like, I don't want to, if she wants to try, I feel like I should let her try because... I want to give my sims what they want, and I want to give them autonomy. But man, this house has a lot of kids. <laughs> so maybe I'll just keep it locked, and if they try, they try. For now. And then we'll decide next round what we want to do. Because I don't want anybody to have more than one baby in one round unless it's twins. It's just too much. It's too much to keep up with. Well, it is Sunday at 5.39. I have frozen time just to make sure we can get little Rosa down to the birthday cake in time. But she just barely made it. Uh, Cassandra just taught, finished teaching her how to walk. So we're going to take her down immediately to the birthday cake. 
and she is going to age up to a child. Things move so fast when you use the one-day pregnancy. I like it, though. I really do. But it also makes your family sims want to have more babies faster. Okay, guys. Dawn and Eva are in here pillow fighting right in front of the cake. Good thing I froze timer. They never would have made it. Okay. We got to put an end to this. Stop it. Get out of the way. Okay, here we go. And we didn't invite any children because there aren't any children in roses. <laughs> wow, uh, Don's going to take a sponge bath right beside the birthday cake. Nice, Don. And he got completely naked to do that. That was cute. Here we go. I wish uh, her brother and sister would come in here to see this. But I guess it's not an official party, so they're just like, whatever. Come on, guys. Your sister's aging up. They do not care. <laughs> here she goes. Oh, she's got the little barrette hair like the uh, Pleasant Twins. Be still so we can look at you. We want to look at you. I swear all their kids look very similar. But she's definitely different. She, You can definitely tell the difference. Uh, from her and her siblings. She's a cute little thing though. There she is. Little Rosa. Aged up to a child. <laughs> Rosa has grown into a child. As a toddler, she achieved the aspiration level of miracle might. That's fantastic. Okay, awesome. She wants some of that cake. So now we're going to have to uh, remodel the, the nursery for her. And I will probably do that in the next round. And tonight, we will just put a little bed in there for her. Aw, uh, Primo's passed out on the couch. But I want to see what she's wearing. It looks like she's wearing... I think she might be wearing a dress. But let's go find out. She's really got to go to the bathroom. So we'll do that. Then I'm going to send her upstairs to the dresser. Oh, I forgot to unfreeze time. Oh my gosh, unfreeze time. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I want to have her come over here so I can really look at her. Oh, there she is. That is, I love that dress. That's so cute. Let me put the walls up so we don't have to watch Dawn back there in the bathtub. <laughs> okay, so the final ages for this round are Cassandra is 53. Dawn is 52, Eva is 16, Primo is 10, and Little Rosa is 5. And two days until Eva ages up to, a, or not ages up, until she either goes to college or ages up to an adult. And two days until Primo is a teen, so that will happen in the next round. Well, guys, something is going down in the Lothario household. So, it's Sunday at almost 9 p.m., and Eva was just talking on the phone to Gia Caliente, which caused Nina to show up on our lot. And Don has the hots for Nina. And all of a sudden, he is going to relax in the bed, and Nina is following him, and I have a feeling he is going to try to woohoo with her. Unfortunately, Cassandra is right across the hall reading to Primo. I don't know what Don is thinking. Maybe he's thinking he has plenty of time because Cassandra's in with the kids or something. Um, normally, I would stop this just like I did last time this happened. But as one of my subscribers pointed out, I have been protecting Cassandra and interfering in their lives. And I said I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to dictate what happens in their lives. So I'm going to let Don do this horrible thing he's about to do. 
I'm not going to protect Cassandra anymore. It's time that she found out that Don's been cheating on her for years and years. Oh no, and his daughter just walked in and saw Nina getting naked in the bed. This is not going to be good. This is going to be bad. Because they, let me see. They're going to make out. Cassandra still has no idea. Oh no, she's putting the book up. Oh no. Okay, she's staying in here with Primo. But they're about to woohoo, so it's all about to be over. Don, you just can't help yourself, can you? I mean, it really. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, Cassandra just caught him. She caught him red handed right in their bed. Oh. Yep, she is gonna slap the crap out of him. Um, Nina, you probably should leave. Oh boy. Okay, let's look at their relationship. It's. She is furious. Furious with him and with Nina, and I don't blame her. She'd really be furious if she knew. Oh, look, she has the want to flirt with Darren, too. And he's gonna sit there and be attracted to Nina while. Cassandra just caught him, and she's attracted to him. She's like, you're so hot, but I hate your guts. So now we have to make a decision. And that decision is, should they reconcile, or should they get divorced? I think that we haven't had any divorces in our game, but I think that Cassandra might be so mad that she would kick Don out. She would divorce him, kick him out, because he's just spending all of her family's money on all of these other women, and I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to have them get divorced. She, Cassandra has a lot of self-respect. She's getting older, and she doesn't want to put up with this crap anymore. In fact, she actually likes Darren more than Don, so why would she put up with him cheating on her? She's like, get out. Get out of my house, Don. Yeah, he's real upset. Really upset now. What are you doing, Nina? Oh my gosh. Oh, Don's crying. Well, you shouldn't have cheated on her, Don. Oh no! <laughs> now Cassandra is gonna beat Nina up. Oh, the kids are upset. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. She's gonna console Primo, who just lost his dad. Uh, Don is gone. He's out of the house now. He took nothing with him. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. How are the other kids reacting? Um, Eva doesn't seem to care that much. Oh, wow, look at the look on... <laughs> look at the look on Rosa's face. Oh my gosh, I feel so sad. Um, can we console her? I guess not. We'll just go give her a hug anyway. Oh, See what you did, Dawn. Nina's still here. Okay, before you go hug her, you better kick Nina out of here. Get out of our house. Oh, this just breaks my heart, you guys. I don't like to do this, but I mean, that was Dawn's decision to cheat right in front of Cassandra. She's taking a shower. Come down here and console your child, please. Alright, she's asleep on the couch. Okay, um, 
I don't know. I'm sad. I'm really sad. The family is broken up. Dawn is out. It's just Cassandra and the three kids now. I'm going to take care of everybody's needs and put them to bed. Oh. <sighs> It's the next morning. Everybody's starting to wake up. Um, this is their first day without Dawn in the house. It's going to be a pretty sad day. Um, we're going to leave the Lothario family here. I'm going to go out into the neighborhood screen so we can move Dawn into his own place and get him started on his new life without his wife and children. Well, Dawn only has 3,000 simoleons with him. Um, that's not really a lot. Cassandra didn't give him any money. <laughs> she was like, get out of my house and get out of my fortune. Um, I don't think he has quite enough to get an apartment over here at the Pleasant Vista Apartments and still be able to buy any furniture for himself. So I think Don's going to have to move into the flop house until he can save up enough money to get himself. Maybe he could rebuy his old condo or get into a bigger apartment. We're going to move him in. I would have him move in with um, Nina. I'm sure she would take him in for a short time, but they don't really have enough room. They barely have enough room uh, for her and Gia. And the plan was going to be for Dawn to give Nina some of the goth money to buy her a house, but now that is off the table because he no longer has access to the goth fortune. So Nina's going to have to figure out how to make it on her own. We're just going to go up here and rent an apartment. We'll rent this one right here. Yes. Uh, Lilith and Dirk are still here. And I don't know who else lives here. I guess Goopy. Don signing his lease. It is so very sad. Don um, is a doctor, and now he's living in the flop house <laughs> with all the college, uh, recent college graduates and really poor Sims. Um, because he was spoiled. He had it good for so long with Cassandra, and now he has nothing of his own. We're going to give him some furniture, and this is where he's going to live until he can save up his money. And here is Don's extremely sad little bachelor pad <laughs> it's so sad it's so pathetic <sighs> okay so I guess this is it this is where we're gonna end this episode this was a very dramatic episode at least the end of it was but let's talk about everything that has happened this round so first of all Cassandra got pregnant with her and Dawn's third child and little Rosa Lothario was born. She aged up to a toddler, learned all of her toddler skills, and then aged up to a child. And then Eva aged up to a teen. And she went downtown looking for a teenage boy to have her first kiss with, but unfortunately she didn't have any luck finding anybody she liked. But she's 16 now and ready to date, so it's going to be really interesting to see which of the boys from her generation she ends up getting involved with. Um, little Prima, oh look, Lilith is getting in a fight. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Primo, he struggled with his grades a little bit, but we managed to get at least one of his homework assignments done, so that should keep him out of trouble. Uh, we also found out that his hobby's fitness, just like his dad's. Don, oh Don, so much, so much happened with Don. First of all, he was demoted at his job thanks to a chance card, but then he was promoted back to his old position as general practitioner thanks to another chance card. Um, he went on a date with the diva, and her name is Hattie Turner in my game. Um, he fell in love with her. He woohooed with her in the hot tub at Pure. So that's one more lover to add to his list. But then, most importantly, the biggest event that happened at the very end of the round is Don decided to ruin everyone's lives by sleeping with Nina right in his and Cassandra's bed while she was just across the hall with the kids. Cassandra caught him, kicked him out, beat up Nina... Now he's out, the family's broken, the kids are distraught, and Cassandra is going to raise them on her own now from here on out. 
um, with, well, Don's going to have huge child support payments now because he has to pay child support for all of his kids. And he doesn't have any money of his own because Andrew kicked him out with nothing. Uh, luckily, he does have a good job, so it shouldn't take him too long to save up money. But he had to move into the flop house uh, momentarily until he can save up enough to get a decent place of his own. So that is it. I think that just about sums it up. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use, my gameplay rules, or if you want to see my sim profiles and family trees. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you with the next episode very soon where I will be playing Dina and Baby and Goth.